guys, welcome back to Amanda's Favorites, where I have new videos every week. This week is continuing my series of planner chat with a friend, or wait, planner friend chat. I always forget what I which way I need to say that. <laughs> but okay. today is super exciting because I have my first planner creator, planner owner on, Laurel Denise. You guys probably all know her. And <laughs> I, I, I was a little bit nervous this morning. I have to admit, <gasps> no, you're so nice and kind. Like, but I, I was like, Oh, it's like, it's my first planner owner. So I'm like feeling like, Oh, okay. But, <laughs> but Laurel is just the kind of person that I knew I would feel comfortable with. And I also knew that my community would be super excited to hear from you. And so that's why you're my first one. And Laurel was so nice. Like, I know you're so busy, but she was just like, oh, I'm there. Like, I'm excited. Oh my gosh, I saw you doing these and I was like, I want to, I want to talk to Amanda. <laughs> oh, so, I'm like, you know what? That's what I was telling my sister when I was telling her you were coming on. I'm like, yeah, Laurel acts like so nice. Like, like, oh, I want to come on. I'm so excited. And I'm like, right. Like she's doing me a favor. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Amanda, you were like the first person to say yes to my like planner reviews. So I, if I am doing you a favor, which I don't agree with, I owe you a one times a million. So I don't, think I, I, I don't think I'm doing a favor. I'm very excited to be here. I remember that very <laughs> first review. And I remember thinking, I have never seen a planner like this I in know. all the planners that I have reviewed. But before we jump into about your planner, I do want to start with a few rapid fire, like fun questions, just okay. to get to know you a little bit. Love it. Um, so where is a favorite, favorite place you've ever lived? Um, a Charlottesville where I live now, Charlottesville, Virginia, right awesome. in the middle of Virginia. Okay. And what would you do if you had a whole day off, but you were alone? Oh my gosh. It's really tempting to say work, but I'm not going to, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to. I feel like lately when I've had these alone days, I've just been resting, just like completely resting. I think I've been working so hard for 17 years doing the mom thing and the thing. I've just been like watching a documentary, going to my beloved solid core, and then coming home and like watching a documentary um, if I would have alone time. But it's hard to imagine a full alone day. I hear like, <laughs> I'm like, wait, what? Like that I didn't, you know, like, I don't even know. I don't know. Well, I don't know. I should say two hours alone or something. Cause let's be honest. We never get a full alone day. Like, I mean, I have a whole, like a whole fantasy answer, but I think the real answer is like, I would exercise cause I love to exercise. And then I would, um, lay <laughs> yes. and puzzle. I also really like to puzzle. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. I love that. Okay. Where is a vacation spot you've been to that you loved, or it could be a dream spot that you want to okay. go to that you've never okay. been to, or it could be tell both. Okay. Okay. I am a sort of a homebody. So I'm like not a big traveler. Yeah. I'm such a homebody. I like have to recover from trips, <laughs> um, but I love the beach so much. The smell, the like sea salt. Oh my gosh. Nothing will make, bring me more peace. I feel like. So the beach, we go to the beach every summer. I love it. I also love lakes. I just like looking at water. Um, those little huts that are like on Fiji look pretty cool. I think I would like to go to that yeah. and have like, fresh fruit brought to me all the time and cappuccinos. <laughs> that sounds like a dream vacation. Yes. <laughs> yes. I love that. Okay. What beach do you guys go to when you go every summer? We usually go to the Outer Banks and they're in North Carolina. Okay. Um, they used to be like really small when we were, when I was growing up, you know, no homes. And now it's definitely really built up almost to the point where we're like, gosh, we might need to find like more beaches in okay. South of South of North Carolina and South Carolina. Okay. So we might start looking for that. Okay. It's Got so it. it's like getting very popular. Yeah. I understand. I yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. If you, I don't know if you're a candy person, but if you were at the checkout line at the grocery store, what candy would you pick? Oh my gosh. Chocolate, something chocolate. I'm not a big, I 
I eat chocolate every day, but I'm not a big candy person, but I do have chocolate every day. I think like a, a Snickers or a um, Butterfingers. Those are so good. I love this. Okay. I love it. so good. <laughs> like that's what I steal from my kids' candies. From like the Halloween. Or those two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Last rapid fire question. This is a weird one. It's one I added in. I haven't asked anyone. Okay, else. I love these. But this is one of my favorite things to do. If I'm out running errands and I'm in the car alone and I'm like, okay, today, like I'm going to eat something that I love in the car alone. Yeah. Like, do you ever do that? Like I'm going to grab a favorite drink or a favorite fast food. I'm like, and I'm in the car alone and I'm literally going to eat it in the parking lot because then I'm alone. Yeah. Nobody's taking it. Um, it used to be Starbucks, but my husband got me a, a really nice espresso machine for Christmas. So I like, I like my coffee better, so much better than any coffee I could get anywhere. So I think it would be French fries because that's my favorite food. And I always have to share them. And I'm like, not a French fry sharer. Like I don't, I'm like, no, you may it's not. Your own fries. French fries. Yes. None. Uh, I think it would be fries. I yeah. love that. Okay. And maybe a milkshake. Although I, don't, I can't imagine a day I'd be like, let's just get a milkshake, I, ice cream. But I think, yeah. fr I think fries. I, I love that. Okay. That was fun. All right. We, I'm going to go into some planner questions before we okay. get into like some, um, of like your store questions before we get, okay. like, so what was your earliest memory of planning or the earliest planner you can remember having in your life? Mm, I had, when I was a little kid, probably tween, like nine, 10, 11 age, I had a little spiral thing that I would memory plan in. Uh, and I've always had really small handwriting, but I had this thing and I would like fold up papers so that I could write longer journal entries, but it would like get like, um, folded up into the square, you know, <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean? I'm seeing where your planner came from. Exactly. I mean, <laughs> like, like different size pages. I would do that or, and I would write like a happy face or, a, or like an in-between face and the weather and stuff. I sort of like memory planned. And then I remember, I mean, I I had like the, the ones my mom had, you know, like staples, like the ones we could all get when we were yeah. young, like, like at a glance or something. Yeah. At a glance, there was no target. Like there were no, there wasn't even a um, partnership in staples with another planner. Company. Right. 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 <laughs> no, 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 not at all. There was not, uh, but I did. I remember in college, I laid out, I was like some, um, at, when I first went there, I was like this informational technology science major. Why, why? I wow. don't know why. And I went to the guidance counselor and I was like, something has wrong has happened. Like I'm in the wrong major. This should not happen. And she saw how I laid out my um, schedule, like this yes. critical thing she saw. And she was like, I think you should be an art major, like based on my planner. Isn't that wow. crazy? I was just wow. thinking about that today. And I was like, oh yeah, that really did like a, a little, my little planner changed my life. Wow. And so oh, from that day, did you change your major? Oh yeah. I was an art major. Thank so God. That was my like meeting in her office. The one meeting in the office. I was, she was like, I think you should be an art major based on your planner. And I was like, wow, you're right. You're right. I don't know what I was doing being a uh, information. I don't even know. Wow. I took okay. one class and was like, there's been a mistake, a huge mistake. Nobody <laughs> wants to do this. Cool. Okay, I got to go. <laughs> Isn't that funny though, how we can feel that in our soul? Like, oh, we like, no, like this is not me. This yeah. is wrong. Yeah. This is not me at all. Yeah. 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 Um, but I, I always had a planner. Like my mom always did. So I did. Okay. I always had like a little desk in her home office where I would have my planner and like my pen jar and stuff. Oh, I love no, that. Just changed. <laughs> oh, I love that. I love that little memory. Okay. So this might kind of coincide with how you started your planner. I'm not sure, but like, did you find the planner community online before you started your planner or like at the same time? Like, when did you find the planner community online? So when I first launched it in 2008, there okay. was no planner community. I mean, there weren't even online communities really. Um, 
they were sort of beginning maybe, but like Instagram was still a photo filter app. Like was Instagram even around in 2008? It wasn't. I don't know. Um, I wasn't on it then. So if it was, yeah, I, I don't think it was. Um, it, it started in like 2011 and 10, I think, but I just made it out of need. And then, uh, you know, some people that know the planner story, I had to sort of pick jewelry or planner because I also had a jewelry company and this planner thing was just like purely a, a need product. And I was like, I think other people might like it if I tried to put it out there. Um, uh, but I had, I started a family and like had to make a choice jewelry or planner. So the planner community in some ways, I like knew it was happening in, um, COVID, like before the pandemic, I knew it was out there. I was like, gosh, planners are, the world is so different now than it was when I tried it. And, um, in some ways it like made me feel like, like the planner community made me feel like, well, maybe I could give this a shot and like, it would work better this time because there are communities and like, I could reach people, you Uh, know? So in some ways it did, like it affected my decision to bring it back. Um, and it certainly made it a viable product, you know, like it was able to get in front of so many people because of that community. Yes. Yes. Sure. Okay. Yeah. I have a question. So when yeah. you first started your planner and then you, you had to choose jewelry because you had to choose yeah. one or the other for, yeah. did you, then did you miss your planner? Or did you print it for yourself to use during that yeah. time? Like when you I, were, yeah. or, like, I actually, you? I missed it a lot. I, um, I, people would write, I made it on my own for a little while. Um, instead of getting it like made by somebody else, we got like a local printer to make it and we would ship them out. And it was just so stressful there. I didn't have like a proofreader. So there were just like accidents and stuff. Um, and I just was like, I can't, I can't deal with this. So I did digital. I just like wow. organized digitally, but I even, I used a digital Google planner differently than other people do. Like I even, I, I adjusted that in a way, but still was like, but I can't see my like overarching week or my overarching month. So like those things aren't happening. It's purely task. Like yes, what yes. happened that day, there weren't any, there wasn't like room for me to actually like look ahead or, um, work on something in the margins just bit by bit, you know, yes. because if I couldn't see it, there was no margin. So I purely in that time just got stuff done that needed to get done, which I think because I was a stay at home mom, that's okay. Like that's all I could do. And that's all, that's okay. If that's all yeah. I could do. Stay at home mom who was also running a business with a staff. So it was like, I just had to get done what needed to get done that day. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah, you were very but I missed it so much. Yeah. Any, any mom who's a mom and running a business. I mean, you, a you lot. are busy very busy like just my, like you said the, the brain is like the always day. going yeah yeah but so many people do that these days oh I yeah like it is it is like every mom I know has a side thing oh, they're yeah. doing whether it's their own or they're they work for somebody else I'm like oh my gosh that's amazing like every no it doing. is yeah and that's what I'm saying I feel like we people we're too hard on ourselves you yeah. know the amazing. moms they don't give themselves yeah. enough credit for how many things are juggled and yeah yeah. So things. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Okay. That is so, I love that story. How I can't <laughs> imagine during that time that you were just planning digitally. Although I can see that you would make it like into something else, like you said, because you're so creative. Yeah. Um, I made it into something else. And I had like my, my notebook that would have like sort of notes for everything, but, um, I, I separated things for like immediate soon, future and would like have that on my desk too but it was chaos Amanda it was chaos <laughs> you know what even with my planners I still feel like a lot Sometimes of times it's chaos. It's chaos. I'm gonna be really totally. honest totally <laughs> but, but they chaos. make it better <laughs> you know it, just, it doesn't make me I think what it is is like the chaos is still there but it does feel like it's like controlled a little like I don't feel as overwhelmed with the chaos because I'm like it does have a home Yes, control so, chaos. Yes, it has like lines, literally. So I think I'm gonna make it. Yes. you know, where it's like totally thoughts just spinning like butterflies everywhere is like really overwhelming. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Okay. I I I think I know the answer to this, but I might not even know it. But what is your favorite pen right now to use in your Laurel Denise um, planner? 
I think I brought it up here. Oh, it's on, I dropped it when I, I should have, I didn't in. warn you about that. I didn't. No, that's okay. I, I actually pre look, I preemptively brought it up here. Okay. Oh, awesome. It's, this one. <laughs> it's my, um, okay. It's a 0.38 friction erasable and I get these on Amazon and I, for a long time thought that they were knockoffs, but I think oh. they're actually not. I just think they're only sold in Japan. The 0.38 erasable, oh, okay. like the, the pilot friction, I think. Yeah. Right. Um, mm -hmm. I think that they're only sold in Japan because okay. it has pilot Japan on it. And I think that they couldn't do that if it weren't actually pilot right yeah yeah no yeah. I'm sure yeah I'm yeah sure so I get, yeah so I get these on Amazon but okay. 0.38 is key for me and erasable because life is chaos like we just said yeah always changes, you and know you got me into when I started using your planner using the friction I use a, a five but that's yeah. all I've ever used in your planner because like I was like wait why have I not used this before me too like I no idea. my planners are always a wreck and now I'm like this. And I can't, I can't with white out. I can't do it. I'm like, no, it makes me, it's that is chaos. Like that additional texture is like, it's too much for me. I yeah. can't do it. So the erasable is like 10 out of 10. We're doing a fun video testing a bunch of erasables soon. Ooh, okay. Yeah. We yeah. ordered every erasable we could find from like every pen. Oh, online. that's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. I'm excited. Okay. I'm excited yeah. for that one. And mm -hmm. at this point, I want to make sure, so I don't forget to mention that I'm going to, of course, link, I'm going to link Laurel's Amazon store because she has all her favorites down there. All the favorites. Yeah. So I'm going to link that for you guys, but I'm also going to link her YouTube channel and her Instagram, because if you are not following her, you should be. Her team, <laughs> you guys make the best YouTube videos. Oh, you're like, so funny. I am serious because hey. I know what goes into videos. Yeah. And so all I do is when I watch your video, I'm thinking that is so much. I'm like two cameras and all that editing. And I'm like all the creative stuff that I'm guessing maybe Nance does a lot of it. Nancy is, she is brilliant. But you're creative. I, I'm creative, but I literally, I'm like, Hey, I have this really cool idea. Don't you think we should do that, Nancy? She has no idea how to do it. Like none of it. And she's like, yeah, sure. I'll figure it out. And then she does like she figures it out wow. and doesn't have at least a panic attack in the office like she just does it she just figures it out and then she's like really really good at it she had never taken product photos one time before she started working for me okay. and she takes all of our product photos wow she's so talented I'm so grateful for her so yeah she does wow. all the fun YouTube editing and, um, she loves it. Like, I think it's really fun. And I think that's part of it. You, that comes through, you know, yes, it definitely it's comes fun. through. No, it's she like puts her little earbuds in and she's giggling in her little desk. She just I laughs. love that. No, I love, and the fun comes through the videos. You guys, you need to go check out the YouTube channel and her Instagram. They make the best reels. So creative and helpful you know, yeah. really helpful showing you ideas on how to use your planner. And so yeah. if you're here and you don't know about the Laurel Denise planner, of course, that's going to be linked. Uh, of course, I have mine right next to me with oh, all the scribbles in I it. Love it. And oh um, so, and I've already decorated for April because hello. Oh, did you I have mean, dates already? Yeah. It, I mean, I already had stuff to write. And so, you know, I have to just go in and decorate a little bit. I love that. Um, but yes. Okay. So I got distracted there with my, okay. I'm start <laughs> they're distracting. <laughs> okay. I have two more questions before we get into some of the company questions. Okay. Do you use any journals? Do you journal? Mm. Um, I wish I journaled. I take like sermon notes like that. I have a journal for that. But I don't, um, I don't, I've like had these like lofty goals of like, I'm going to put a horizontal planner next to my bed and I'm going to put like my gratitude for each day in there. Yeah. And, like, and then I get in bed and I'm like, I'm so very tired. So I don't do that. I think that life is starting to open up in a way, you know, this past, well, you might ask this in a minute, but this past year when I closed down the jewelry portion. It was almost like I started a new business 
in May, right when my kids got out of school uh, for summer break, which was n- not the best planning. The best like, timing, right? <laughs> Yeah, it was like a very, very hard um, season to make that choice in. Uh, And so I think that um, things are finally starting to level out. We've gone through a January as a planner company in a February, which is we've never inventory wise been able to make it there. Um, But all that to say, it does feel like, oh, okay, we're starting to get in a rhythm of like, these are the launches. This is how we do this stuff. And I think like life, I'm starting to see more margins than I've ever really had in life, which is so nice. Like it just feels really good. So I feel like I, this year, like want to have a journaling system, but I still think it would be in a planner. Like I did when I was a kid, like, I still think it will be like in the lines. Cause that's just how my brain works, you yes. know? Yes. Yeah, totally. So, and yeah, I think I your think horizontal will planner would be perfect for that. I think so too. Cause okay. it's just enough room for me to write like, oh, I really love this, or even just like a special memory with the kids or some gratitude with anything at all, I think would be like really nice. Um, But yeah, I think, I think I really want to start. So I can totally see that. I just have to say like, I could even see myself using it sometime because your gratitudes, you know, can go here on the horizontal and the whole monthly can be any like memories or oh, like true. favorite yeah. things you want to record. And you could do that in like a really creative way because of the dot grid, you know, yeah. or it could just be a list, like, you know, whatever kind of person yeah. you are, you know, and, you know, each day of the week, I don't know why, but I have this weird thing where sometimes I like want to give the day like a, a star or a Me check. Too. Like or I, that's what I used to do. Yeah. It might sound bad, but it's like, was it a really good day for me? Like a star yeah. or was it? just okay it's a check or was it a really bad day and x like I Uh would say things like that and put it down in planners so I could like see and then I could see the whole month like well overall like how did that feel you know well I'm getting such a good real idea I want to definitely do this on sort of like do like you know a fake you have to put a pretend one up because you can't like really do your deepest darkest secrets on the internet but like yeah it, it was that's yeah and I also think what's so great about doing that Amanda like sometimes if you have an X day, right? Like if you're having a bad day, you sort of, I don't know if you're like this, but I'm like, uh, every day is a bad day. Like whatever I'm feeling right then is like, <laughs> I'm, I'm always, everything's always terrible. Like I'm a terrible human, like all these things, but you can like look back and be like, no, I'm not. Look at all these happy, look at all these yes. star days I had, you know, and even check days are good. It's yes. not, like, this is just like this today and maybe tomorrow, you know? No, totally. It's, so good. it's a good I love like, that. mental health check. And see people who are more creative than me, like you, you guys would like do some sort of like color coding, like oh, a color means a mood for the day. And you like color in the day, that color. Ooh, I love that idea. Like the full day. Yeah. Like oh, of the color, that. like you have a key for the mood yeah. of the day, yeah. you know, yeah. how we were feeling. Yeah. So, but me, see, I'm the type of person that's just like star check X, you know? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So. Hey, it's done. It's efficient. <laughs> yes, yeah. Okay. That is true. Okay. <laughs> what do you have a specific morning routine that you feel like helps you? Do you have a morning routine you stick to, or is it more just like every morning's a little bit different and, mm-hmm. and that's okay. <laughs> yeah. I think right now, every morning's a little different because uh, of daylight savings. <laughs> that's throwing me. I- yeah, that has thrown me for the past week and a half. So right in this moment in time, uh, morning looks like coffee and like trying to get my children up. Um, yes. It looks, yeah, it looks nothing like the relaxation that like in the summer, it's more coffee. I read my Bible. I go to solid core. I come back. Me and the girls go to the pool. It's like a lot calmer. A lot, uh-huh. it was such a gentle, a gentle morning. Yeah. Oh, but right now, you know, my kids are littler, not totally itty bitty, but um, it's sort of chaos on school days. It makes me want to homeschool, Amanda. I'm like, oh my gosh, mornings alone. Mornings like, can get <laughs> can you to there. Until maybe, you know, you think of all the other things, <laughs> all the things, the rest of the day. I'm like, I can push through for 45 minutes to <laughs> sort of, you know, get there. But the mornings I get you because we did, we did do public school for my oldest till he was like uh, a sophomore in high school. So, oh, yeah. really? So we had a lot. Yeah. I mean, so I experienced the gamut 
of it all. Yeah. I know. I feel like that's why I loved pandemic time because they could just sleep till nine if they wanted. And I felt like it was so healthy, you know, teenagers like, need so a lot of sleep when they, they get to teen so years. Much I mean, if you look up about it, they need a lot of sleep. What? A and lot. I'm like, well, they're not getting that ever like no I know I know my husband grew up in the DC area and he said he he like had to be out at the bus so early like 701 or something like something like that and I was like when did you wake up yeah you were a teenage boy how'd you do that yeah I couldn't do it yeah (laughs) I couldn't do it so no I don't have like a specific yeah specific like I do this and then I do that routine okay I love that you I do now I did not when my kids were younger yeah. you know so like every season of life it's like really changed yeah, it's different you know yeah. like there were so many years though I had like no morning routine you know you and the morning was, basket don't you I do I do now yes yeah. but like there, that. Were, there were so many years that I had no morning routine and like I tell people guess what like it was okay I feel like I was doing pretty good. So like, it's okay just because Instagram tells you you need to have a morning routine and you need to have a morning basket or something like you, you you, I promise. I know. I feel like I'm in the season of life where like, not today, but hopefully later. Yes. Like grace and (laughs) sort of like reality check. Yeah. That literally has just come about like in the last couple of years, you know, I love that idea though. Cause it's all, it's all just right there which is so nice. That makes it a little easier. I would no, think it makes it totally easier. Like yeah, I don't think I would do it flail. if yeah. it was like not all like, cause if I go to look for anything, then like, I'm done. You're done. Yeah. Like I'm like, yeah. it's over. I need to empty yeah. the dishwasher. I need to do this. Oh I'm yeah. Hungry. There's so much thing. Yeah. I'm hungry. Yes. All of that. Yeah, absolutely. So, okay. Um, so we got into the planner company questions a little bit, but we're going to get a little bit more into it to wrap up. So how you started your planner in 2008, you said, Mm -hmm. and then what year, how long did that go on? Like, when did you stop that? And then when did you bring it back again? And I I want to hear the thoughts about bringing it back again and, and all that. Yeah. I, okay. So 2008, we launched it. Um, and then just on our own, which was really hard in those days. There was no social media. Like I said, it was just hard to make a community and connect with people on a product. Mm -hmm. Uh, I did like trade shows and um, stuff, but even that it was just hard, you know? Um, And then I think Chronicle Books published it in like 2010. Um, They're like a small, well, not that small book publisher. And then they didn't do it for the following year. So we did it ourselves, I think for two years. And then I started my family in 2012. I think we had like a 2013 or 14 version um, that was mini. It was like really small. It was really small, which is like sneak peek to 2024 option. Um, So (laughs) yeah, I I know. (laughs) We are getting a little spoiler. A little spoiler. I'm excited. Uh, Yeah, we're, I'm really excited. Um, Little pocketbook. So we did that and then it just was too much. I had to like be real with myself um, and, and be like, what can I actually do and be at home with my kiddos and have a staff, like what is real, you know? So um, had to just made the heart. And it was also really hard. I think if it had been today, I obviously would have picked the planner. Like I, I did that, okay. you know, but it was just a hard to build community on it. Um, and, and there was nobody really doing that yet in the planner world. I think Emily Lay was sort of starting and like um, maybe Aaron Condren was starting a little, um, but uh I, there was nobody like kind of paving the way of like, oh, they're doing it. I probably could too, you know, yeah. in my own way, um, with my own sort of version of it. And then, so I stopped for a while, would get emails probably weekly. I mean, like literally wow. when are you bringing it back, what's happening, when are you going to do it? And we, I would just be like, I'm so sorry. Like, you know, we're not, I don't have any plans to, because I did not have any plans to bring this thing back like okay. at all whatsoever. Okay. Uh, and then I'm home in 2020 
I'm running a staff of six or eight or something from all over wow. Charlottesville because we all had to be separated. Um, it was Mother's Day time, so it was chaos because um, my jewelry business was really busy for Mother's Day. And um, we had a family staying with us that lived in Brooklyn. And they were our friends from when we lived in New York. And wow. we were like, hey, you can't live with a seven-year-old in like a thousand square foot Brooklyn apartment. You aren't even allowed outside. Like you can't do that. We have this suburban house, like come live with us. So wow. they were all so it was like, it was so fun, but so crazy. And I just was like chaos all the time and thought to myself, what I actually need is my planner to get organized. Mm -hmm. Like, this is what finally I was like, I need my planner back. Mm -hmm. And I talked to my husband and I was just like, do you think other people are feeling this way? And like crazy, um, just chaos. Like it felt like a different kind of crazy, you know, mm -hmm. uh, it just felt like extra chaos. And, um, I was like, maybe I should bring it back with like a small run. Like, wh why don't we just see, um, we were doing well with the jewelry business so I could invest in it. And then we sold out in like two months. And then we brought, wow. we like doubled our order for 2022, sold out of that in like a month. And so then we had to reorder. It was crazy. And then I was like, this is crystal clear. Like, this is my business now. I'm so much more passionate about this than the jewelry. And so that now it's like a since May of 2020 has been like full time or 2022 since last year. Okay. It's been like full time, full time planner town, I which is it. weird. That was like a long, did you follow that? I don't no, know if I, I did. did. No, like, that's what I wanted. I love win? it. <laughs> no, I loved hearing the story. And so when you went to, did, did you feel like it was a hard decision to leave the jewelry or that was easy? Because like you said, you just felt way more passionate about the planners and I feel like it was like a really honest move. So that made it easy. Like it just felt like the jewelry had run its course um, and that it was just time. You know, there were um, a lot of people on Etsy doing similar things. All of a sudden, like a lot. We were sort of the first ones engraving leather and doing any sort of like bracelets or necklaces or anything. And then okay. as what happens with life, it just, you can't patent something like that. It's just an idea. So uh, I just was like, you know, it might be, I, I don't feel as um, passionate. And it was also, it had become, which is a beautiful thing, um, but it had become like a sympathy company in some ways. Like people would buy these, they were so meaningful, these bracelets, and they would buy them um, as sympathy gifts. And I think after you've spent 17 years in a sympathy place it mm. like can get kind of heavy and it just got to be like okay I think I need to like um just step away from that heaviness for a little bit and like heal a little and just have some fun without um like dishonoring what somebody else is going through you know like yeah. it was hard to be silly in a reel or be silly because you wanted to really honor what people were watching you for and coming to you for which got to just be like, whoa, I think I need to take a deep breath, which I think is okay. I think yes. I felt guilty about that for a while, but I think it's actually like pretty healthy to be like, hey, I got to step out of this role for a little while. <laughs> for know? sure. Like, and yeah. I would have never thought of that. The sympathy side of that. Yeah. Right? It would, yeah. I would have um, never thought of that. And I think like what I'm really passionate, I love small businesses and like, I love getting stuff done. Like I'm really good at it. And that's what my planner does, you know, is like helps people get stuff done. Yeah. And I just am like, I know that sounds like such a weird thing to be passionate about, but I'm like, no, no, no. Because I know what it feels like to be like, I have this great idea, but it's chaos. So I can't actually make it happen. There's nothing. I feel like there's for my personality. There's like nothing worse. I'm like, oh, feels like I have, I have cement feet when I feel that way, you <laughs> know? And so like, I feel like I'm like giving a tool to like kind of break, like jackhammer that cement a little bit. I <laughs> like, love that analogy. Like here, here, let's do this together. <laughs> I love that. That is what the Laurel Denise planner will do for you guys. I'm a jackhammer. <laughs> I'm not sure if you, if that will help sell more planners. I'm not sure, but <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. So I love that. And yes, you seem like such a lighthearted, fun, creative person Yes, that, I mean, I think that your creativity 
you know, would be stifled. Like, like you said, you couldn't do the fun reels you wanted or whatnot because yeah, you know. it felt like I was like mimicking, um, what other sympathy companies did after a while. Like I was like, gosh, is that what I think? Or is that what like, you know, um, that key company that does the keys and like hammers and giving keys does I don't know that company. Oh, but. they're pretty, they're, they're pretty cool. They like hammer words into, uh, old keys and they, um, employ like homeless, um, oh, wow. communities and stuff. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Uh, a lot of celebrities were their things, but anyway, it was sort okay. of like, am I being honest or am I, am I being authentic? Or am I just at this point, like mimicking what other companies, like what I should be doing. And with okay. the planner, I feel like it's so out of the box that like, I can just be a weirdo on the internet if I want. And but, we all love it. <laughs> and it's like, here I am. <laughs> and we love it so much. And besides your planner, I should like, I have to say this, but I did not bring it up here because it's in my morning basket. But when you guys go to her site, you need to look at all the products. Like one of my favorite things is the pen pouch. The oh, pen pouch. I love the pen pouch. I mean, oh. I can't tell you. I have 1 billion pen pouches. Okay. But like that is my favorite pen it's pouch. so much into it. It's crazy. I, I love it. I, I mean, we've done a video on like how much we fit into this pen pouch. It's yeah. like a Mary Poppins pouch. It, it is the Mary forever. Poppins pouch, yeah. but it's also like the feel of it, the look yeah. of it, oh, thanks. just everything about it is like, it, it's my favorite. So yes. Thanks. So you guys, I can't wait to see if you're doing new pen pouches next year. We are doing so much. Like what was the most fun? We went viral in January. Um, on TikTok, and what's the the most fun outcome that's come from that yeah. is that we actually get to make all of these things that we've been dreaming up. Because now we're like, okay, we can invest in that. You know, I nothing increased salary wise for me. It just increased like what we actually get to make, and I'm really excited. 2024. We already have stuff planned for the end of this year. I mean, obviously, that's all getting made already. But mm -hmm. for even 20 into 2024, the stuff we have planned is. Oh, like I'm so excited to see. I'm really fun. It's really fun. So I'm excited. excited. Yay. <laughs> oh, yay. Okay. That's exciting. And I mean, that's awesome that you guys went viral on TikTok. I'm not it even on TikTok. Wild. So I wouldn't know. Wild. Like, but I hear you like know. when you do that, like that's big. It's crazy. I did not, um, I always like thought people were exaggerating, but it, it was a real deal thing. And it was just right at the right moment. I think it was right on new year's Eve. So everybody wow. was buying planners and it, what's funny about TikTok is I don't spend a ton of time on there, but we, um, invested a lot of like content making time to it. Um, which as a business decision, although we weren't like seeing, um, a lot of return from it, it was really, really good to have had a lot of content there when we went viral, because okay. then it's like, they could look and see that like, Oh, this is, they're legit. Like they've posted a lot. They're doing stuff. So okay. TikTok is like very, a very, um, fickle, you know, partner, but it's yeah. worth it to kind of show up on there sometimes. Yeah. Um, just in case. You never know. That's awesome. I'm yeah. so happy for you guys there. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. What has, what would you say? I'm going to ask you your favorite part and your most stressful part mm -hmm. of running this planner company. So not even just running a company as a whole, like, cause you've done yeah. that for a long time, but like running, like, or starting back up this planner company, like favorite part and most stressful part. I think the I mean, I love the art of it, like the actual creating part of the planner. The system making is like my sweet spot. Like I feel like I'm I'm adding a lot of value in that place, which obviously is like super fun. Um, so I really like that part. Like I really like that it is a different kind of planner and that it answers a need that people haven't had before and like have been sort of like left out. And it's like genuinely helping people with like, I don't want to say different brains. Cause I think it's helped people with very traditional brains too. But like, I don't know. I feel like I feel really proud of that and happy of that. So that feels really good. Um, 
I am a people pleaser though. So I think the most stressful part is like people, you know, I have a, a genuine, like awesome community. We have a private Facebook group that is so sweet. And like, but they like, I'm like, I can't please everybody. It's like so hard with manufacturing realities, um, money, like inventory, like sort of having the capital to do. Um, and that like, I've really, I'm like through and through a people pleaser. So I'm genuinely like, I get like legit sad that I can't make that one off product, which I'm like, that is a good idea. But I think you and I might be the only ones that want it. I'm like, darn it. Um, and, um, I, I sort of love and don't love the, um, the pattern design. I put so much pressure on myself for that. Okay. Like the covers. Okay. Oh my goodness. Well, the pressure I put on myself, I lose sleep, Amanda. I'm like a wreck. I am a wreck until they're done each time. And I just have to be like, this is what it is. I need to care for myself. It's now been three times and I've been a wreck all three times. Okay. So I need to just be like that. That's my process. And I'll okay. try to be gentle. With myself. Okay. Well, you guys, I love, if you have not looked at her covers and her, one of the things I love is the coordinating inside pocket. Yeah with the covers and those are her awesome stickers yeah, um, because the colors I mean it's not going to show up on zoom but are just yeah. amazing together what you choose but as you, I mean you just any planner company you go to you're just know they have agonized over those planner covers. yeah yeah <laughs> like, it's so stressful and I like I'm all I look at everybody's I'm like oh good job good job right. <laughs> yes because you know <laughs> You know, I the know. Work and I'm like, oh, it. those are so unique and like so beautiful um, and like really fun. So um, I think there's just so much good. And there's also so much that is like, okay, another thing. We're holding another fire today. Um, but yeah. you just kind of learn to roll with the punches of it and not go too high or too low. Try to, try to stay. Okay. I like that. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. What my last question is about Go Wild. So Laurel yeah. was asked to even speak at Go Wild this year. Isn't that wild? I was like, what am I doing on stage? <gasps> oh my god. And they did a huge, beautiful setup there. Um of just like the swing and the neon signs and like amazing y'all's creativity came yeah. through. And so tell us like anything you want to about go wild, how that was for you. I'm sure it like may have introduced you to a lot of new people too. So many new people and like, there. yeah, to like look in their eyes and actually chat. And I think just be the same person when I'm in front of them as I am on the internet was like really good. I think that's like not usual. I was just like, no, I'm this way. This is it. This is what yes. we're getting. <laughs> um, so fun to meet like so many people. I loved our booth. I was like, this is so, sometimes, I mean, I've been doing trade shows since I started in 2005 and your booth doesn't like always turn out exactly the way you want. And this was like, oh my gosh, it actually did. Like it looked oh. how I wanted it to look. I can probably count on one hand, the number of times, half a hand that that has happened okay. in my trade there's always something that I'm like that yeah, wasn't quite right okay. um so that felt like really really fun I can't believe I was on stage uh with Tanya who's the CEO of Aaron Condren it was crazy um I blacked out a little for a while there on stage <laughs> I was gonna I was say like, was it nerve-wracking okay. for you? you know I was like trying really really hard to just be chill and calm about it because I didn't want to be like, um, so hyper excited that I overwhelmed everyone, but that's how I wanted to be. And I almost feel like if I had just been like hyper excited, it probably would have, I would have felt like, Oh, you did a good job. But I think <laughs> I was like, I kind of blacked out a little, like I asked her a question out of order and I don't know, is that awkward? Um, and but I, I do feel like it was just so such a joy to get to be on stage with her and just be like in front of this whole planner community that has like it really, I don't know, some of them knew me, some of them didn't know me at all. Like a lot of people at Wild didn't know about Laurel Denise. Um, it was just, it was wild. It is an aptly named um, event because it was wild to see like all the real life people to see all the content being made, to see the creative creativity, to like hear the, all the talks. Like it was, it was wild. I, it, yeah. Okay. <laughs> was 
Yeah, I napped for a week, basically. Okay. That, yeah. I yes. So I was like, oh my gosh, that was a lot of peopling. But it was, it. I, I wouldn't have changed it. Like, I was so glad I went. Yeah, yeah. So That's so awesome. Because, yeah. I mean, you just had the most explosive year. And- like, right. And it felt like just right. It felt exactly. right to like me then going to wild after, cause it did feel like it's almost been a full year. Uh, cause we launched undated in April or May last year. So it was, it was like, okay, this, and that was one of my big goals, like just to, just to be invited to go and be some part of it. There. Wow. Felt That's like, awesome. Yeah. It was and awesome. how much that happened in your year. I just, I'd love to watch so it. Much. You guys have done amazing. And you navigated it so well, I feel like, and just, Thanks. it's been amazing to watch and I'm so happy for you. And oh, I love your team that you guys do videos together because she has like, isn't it your childhood best friend? Yeah. Maddie? My teenage best friend. Yeah. Maddie. Okay. Yeah. When we it, met when we were 15. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. And then Nance and you, yeah. they do videos together, you guys, and they're just great because they're real people and they're showing you their real planners and their yeah. real chatter and talk. And it's just, it's so fun. I'm like, like well, Nancy has a lot to edit out because like, I'm like, I go off on these tangents. She's like, okay, can we, let's pull it in. Pull yeah, it she, in. <laughs> she's like, I'm going to have to edit all this. So let's. We need to get back on track. Mabby's showing us her garden spread. And I'm like, Mabby, you're supposed to get me my plants for that garden. And she's like, what are you talking about? And then we talked about gardens for 15 minutes. Poor Nancy. <laughs> she, she, like, she just, we need to move on to the video. Come on. Guys, come on. The camera's going to die. Right. <laughs> well, you guys, you need to go check it out. Um, and check out Laurel Denise's planners if you have not on her YouTube channel. Of course, I have reviews too on my channel. I will link everything down below. And just thank you, Laurel, for meeting with me today, taking the time out. I feel like like you are too big to take yeah. time to meet with me. Uh, that is an absolute lie. That well, is not true. You're just so nice that you would never say that. But like, <laughs> no, I'm just telling I you guys, like, don't think it. I was kind of scared when I DM'd her, but Laurel just came back like so nice, like so excited. And like, and I'm like, she is, she's too nice. No. So, thank you. Oh, no, no, no. I don't, mm -mm, that's not true, but thank you for asking me. I'm, I'm so psyched. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to share this with all the humans. It's all right. Really I'm so excited to share you too. And everybody leave all your comments and questions down below. And I'm so excited to share like creators and planner owners on this series. Now, I think that is like, I kind of feel like that comes full circle with how many planners I've reviewed that now I actually like, if I get to start talking to the creators and owners, this is, this was super fun. Such and you were my idea. first. Such a good idea, Amanda. I love it because you, people don't often get this peak, which I feel no. like is so important to get. And so, I mean, I would have, I would eat these things up. I cannot wait to meet the other planner people. So. Oh, I'm thanks Laurel. Yeah. Okay, guys. Take care of yourself so you can take care of others and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>